there. So I'm here at the uh, Vintage Fashion Show, and uh, what, what is your name, young lady? Doris Raymond. Doris Raymond. She used to be loosely affiliated with the show years ago, <laughs> back in the, the golden age. And um, I, she introduced me. What is your name? Kevin Jones. Kevin Jones. It's a little tough to spell. Yeah. Is that with a K or a C? <laughs> with a K. Okay. <laughs> And uh, so, uh, Kevin, um, anything going on with you these days? Well, yes, at the museum at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising. Now, what, let's see that. Uh, at the, where, where is this place located? It's the Fitta Museum, Fashion uh, Institute of Design and Merchandising. And where is that located? Downtown Los Angeles. In downtown Los Angeles. Ninth and Grand. Ninth and Grand. Yes, we have a, a huge exhibition up. It's, it's a huge exhibition. Yes. When you say huge, could you quantify that? Would there, you say like a billion items or a trillion? I think we counted 201. Objects, okay. of okay. fashion history. Two hundred and one. Yes. Okay. Yes. Not not over two hundred, but two hundred and one. Just over two hundred. Yeah. How yes. would you how would you uh, um, a, how would you characterize what you have? Are they from specific eras or designers or the last two hundred ten years? The last to two. Oh, that's why you have. So you have yes. one item representing each each year. Uh, just about, yeah, exactly. Well, I'm mean, 210 Ten. years, That's right. 210 20. items. I assume that was the plan. Right. Or are you saying there's a year that you have left out? There may Did be you one year the... that we doubled up. Oh, that well, but if so you double depth, that means someone got someone got, got the shaft. Jeffed. That's right. Was that during the first exactly. the first year the Jimmy <laughs> Carter presidency? Was that the year that you did it? You guessed. Okay. <laughs> now, of all these years, I understand they're like your children. You you can't play favorites, but you know no one's going to hear this except my readers. Okay. So I was wondering, is there is there one of them that you can highlight or tell me about one of your favorite ones? Yes, the 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 newest. Uh, acquisition for the museum, which uh, is an Alexander McQueen peacock dress. An Alexander and McQueen peacock and dress. Fact, a detail of it is the in cover this of the in catalog. this sealed Allow book that we okay. probably won't even be able to get a good shot of because <laughs> the plastic was shines. Now, who is Alexander Mc, 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 McQueen? He major uh, designer British. Uh huh. He also worked in Paris for the House of Givenchy for many years. The House of the House of what? Givenchy. Would you would you take a run at spelling that? G I V E N C H Y. Well, you're pretty good at this. Mm -hmm. Now, about when did he live? Uh, Givenchy himself is still alive. How about how about the gentleman that we're talking about, Alexander, Alexander McQueen? Alexander McQueen, 1969 to sadly 2010. So he died just last year. Yes, I see. Yes, and. I'm going to look it up. Okay, we are looking it up as we speak. So this may take some time. Okay, now now what is this here? Is this some little frumpy thing that you wear when you just don't care what you look like? Or that, is there something special about this? This is a very special dress, uh, custom made for the museum. Oh, custom made for the museum. Yes, and what yes. year was this made? We commissioned it last year. Oh, ju just in, just, now had just, he already died? He had just passed away. He just passed away just passed and that's away. when you got on the bandwagon. That's right. Now, so who, if he just died, who designed this dress? He did. This is from his his collection just before he passed away. Okay, so this is one of the very last things yes, that he, he ever that he ever designed. Exactly. Now, is he considered like the Steve Jobs of the fashion world? I mean, you know, they're both dying at about the same time. They're both innovative. That's an uh, interesting way of putting it, actually. I'll take that yes. as a, I'll take in that the as sense of, of of success and brilliance and genius. Yes, Steve Jobs and Alexander McQueen were running pretty parallel. Yeah, burning yeah. pretty parallel. Is that what running? Pretty running. Parallel. Yeah. I'll use Bernie. Okay. And uh, so if someone, is there any way to put a price on this? I, is it insured for a certain amount of money? Is there any way it to? It is, but that's all confidential. So it, mm -hmm. it's it's secret and confidential. But I can tell you gowns in this, at this level, uh -huh. start at $50,000. So they start at $50,000. And they can go up to $250,000. And, well, and for this one, it's in the higher. Uh, bracket tax bracket. Oh, the higher tax bracket. Yes. Yeah. Now the thing about this, it looks like she's she's holding a couple peacocks. Yes. And um, um, I was no. Did you tell me what material this was made out of? It's silk netting. Silk, silk netting. Silk lace. Silk organza. Uh huh. Yes. Well, then and then and you you open it up and oh, the pattern it, of the of the dress itself. Yeah. This is this is the panel of lace. So now this is the panel of lace. Now what does that mean? Where and then it was completely cut apart. Uh huh. And then it was configured into okay, the, the dress itself. The I see. Yeah. Okay. Now would this be on display? 
It is right now. It is on display. Yes. How long will this thing last? Through December 17th. Oh, good. Okay, mm -hmm. so in plenty of time. Right. Okay, good. Well, 